It's been one year since I started YouTube. I have received two payments from YouTube since then. They are not much, but I am happy with it. In this video, I am going to briefly explain the whole YouTube payment system and what are those factors which affect your YouTube earnings. So let's begin. We are going to start from how to enroll in the YouTube Partner Program. I will not go through the whole procedure and just cover the basics only for beginner YouTubers. YouTube Partner Program lets you place ads on your videos through which you can earn ad revenue. In order to qualify for the YouTube Partner Program, your channel must fulfill certain conditions. Firstly, your channel must have at least a total of 10,000 views. It must have 1,000 subscribers and also your channel must have 4,000 hours of watch time in the past 12 months. This is the new monetization policy of YouTube they started this year. After your channel meets this criteria, you can enable monetization on your videos. Next is, what are the factors affecting your ad revenue? If you already have monetization enabled on your videos, you may have already noticed that not all of your videos earn the same amount of revenue. There are many factors which affect the money you earn from YouTube. These are watch time, location of your viewers and the niche your video is particularly about. The location of your viewers matters the most. I will give you an example of couple of my videos so that you may get a better idea. One video which is about top 10 jobs in Pakistan has about 50,000 views and another one which is about how to export photos in PicMonkey has about 47,000 views. But the amount of revenue they earned is completely different. The 50,000 views earned about $7.51 while 47,000 views earned about $138. The difference is huge. The reason is most of the viewers are coming from Pakistan in top 10 jobs video while in the PicMonkey video, most of the views are coming from United States. As there is a lot of difference between the economies of these countries, that's why the revenue earned is different in both videos. But that is not the only reason. There are more factors that cause this difference between them. You can learn about them in the rest of the video. Next is niche of your video. Niche is a topic that your video is particularly about. Most profitable niches on YouTube in 2018 are Makeup, gaming, food, yoga, fitness, unboxing products, tech reviews, and travel, etc. With makeup being the most profitable one. If your video is about these topics, YouTube will place more ads related to them on your videos. And since these topics have higher CPC and RPM rate, you will earn a lot more money. CPC refers to cost per click, and RPM refers to revenue per thousand impressions. Finally, the watch time also affects the amount of revenue you earn from ads. In simple words, more watch time means more money. But it's very important that you don't reduce your audience retention by making long on videos. Shorter videos also earn a lot of money, you just need to make some more of them. Also, if your videos are longer than 10 minutes, YouTube gives you the option to enable ad breaks in your videos, which can increase your revenue even more. So watch time and audience retention matters in ad revenue. How you get paid through YouTube The minimum threshold after which YouTube sends you your payment is $100. You can increase it if you want in the payment settings. After you have reached $100 threshold, YouTube sends you your payment through the payment method you have provided in your AdSense account. My payment method is Western Union system and it works best for me. There is no tax fee and I get the exact amount I have earned when I go to withdraw it. Alright guys, that's it. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions related to this video or if you want to add anything to it, please leave them in the comments down below. Give the video a thumbs up and thanks for watching.